Okay, today we're going to make some Italian beef sandwiches. So what do you want to do is take your beef. I'm going to be using a two and a half pound uh, round roast. Um, if there's any large chunks of fat on it, just trim it off. This particular piece doesn't have a whole lot of fat on it, as you can see. So I'm just going to leave it as is, put it there in the crock pot. Go ahead and use one. 32 ounce uh, box of beef broth. Just pour it in over the beef. seasoning which I'm basically just using packages of zesty Italian um, seasoning on it. Just sprinkle that in there good. And then I'm throwing in two jars of mild banana pepper rings. You don't want to come out easily. So once all the peppers and everything are in there, all the seasoning, simply put a lid on it and put it on low for eight hours. And then once it's done, we'll be able to put together some Italian beef sandwiches. So after about eight hours on low, the beef should be ready in the crock pot. Before we take that out and start making our sandwich, we're going to toast our buns. Uh, personally, I prefer onion buns. I like the flavor of them a lot better than just a regular hoagie roll. So we're just going to butter these real quick. Once we get them buttered, we're going to throw them in a preheated oven. 400 degrees just long enough to get the buns nice and toasty. Don't want to overdo it though because they'll get hard and crunchy. So just long enough to warm up and get it toasted. That's all we need. And then once we're done with that we'll start building our sandwich. After a few minutes once your uh, buns are fully toasted just pull them out put them on a plate and then we'll take some of the meat out of the crock pot We'll start building our sandwiches. Now, if you like your tiny beef sandwich is juicy, try to hold on to a little bit of that juice to add to it. Let's get the meat on them. Go ahead and add cheese. Now, most recipes they'll use uh, Swiss cheese. I'm not a huge fan of Swiss cheese, so I'm using provolone on my sandwiches. Go ahead and top that up. And there we have it. Now, due to the heat from the uh, meat and everything, the cheese will start to melt and soften up. So, you don't really need to worry about reheating it unless you want to in the microwave. But there you go. Two Italian beef sandwiches all ready to go. If you like this recipe, hit like and subscribe to the uh, channel. 
Um, if you decide to make this recipe and make any changes or alterations to it whatsoever, leave a comment in the comments section. Let me know how it turned out. And uh, there we go. Until next time.